everybody welcome back to my channel i am charlene clemson mommy to four boys and on today's video i'm going to be showing you our family food shop for the week on a real budget now everything that i've got here will go into this week's meals but there are a few things in the cupboards in the freezer and things that i will use to bulk out the meals as well but i'll show you the food plan before i get started because this is what like i said was a really good budget week and i'll show you at the end how much it actually all came to so at the moment i've got all the fresh food and the cupboard food out and then i'll show you the frozen stuff afterwards once i've got all this put away because i've already just shoved it in the freezer really quickly so it didn't start to defrost but i'll show you the meal pattern really quickly for this week okay so today is tuesday i always do my food shopping on a tuesday so tonight we've got baked potatoes with a variety of different toppings it depends on what people want so there'll be like cheese and coleslaw beans and cheese tuna it's all in the cupboards and in the fridge depending on what they want then tomorrow we've got mince and potatoes with veggies which i will do in the slow cooker on thursday we've got gammon egg and chips for the boys and i've actually bought some dauphinoise potatoes which you'll see for me and tom so we'll have gammon dauphinoise and peas then on friday the boys will have pizza they always have pizza on friday when they get back from their grandparents house and we were gonna we are gonna have by we i mean me and tom we're gonna have um burritos using some leftover chili that i have in the freezer that was from last week's meal uh, meal plan on friday we're going to have fish and chips again i've got fish in the freezer so i've only had to buy fish fingers um this week and i've got chips in the freezer and then on sunday we're going to have a roast chicken dinner then on monday with the leftover ham from the gammon and the chicken from sunday i'm going to make my chicken and ham pie and i'll serve that with some veg and then it'll be tuesday again and i'll go back to do the shopping again and um, if you would like to see a video of like what we eat in a week and how i make these meals then do leave a comment in the in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up for me um because then it makes me aware of like what sort of things you enjoy watching and i can do more of them so without further ado let's show you exactly what we've got so i'll start here with a big tub of butter just to kind of see us through this will probably last us a couple of weeks to be honest um, i picked up some of these little yogurts so there's a drink bottle on the floor there look there's always stuff lying around um i picked up some of these little yogurts that were um instead of the tube yogurts they didn't have any of the tube yogurts so the boys will take these in their lunch instead some of these cheese singles because the boys love them um some fresh sour cream for with the burritos the mince beef there is for with the mince and potatoes and then i have the gammon joint there which is just a large gammon joint which again i do in the slow cooker and a large extra large chicken which serves six to seven people again i shall cook that up and then like i say use them for more than one meal and that's how i kind of make it stretch a little bit more so i've got some smoked cheddar cheese that is for in with the chicken and ham pie it's a really lovely recipe i love that one like i say if you want to see it just leave a, a comment and i'll i'll make sure that i film it for you then some cooked ham and some cooked chicken for the boys lunches and for tom's lunches some short crust pastry um some bacon potatoes some carrots i buy the um wonky carrots the wonky potatoes the wonky grapes because they are really good quality and it's just that they don't fit into the certain i don't know categories so they end up being um classed as wonky but they, they're cheaper and they're always really good quality so highly recommend the wonky stuff um at the back there i've got all of our milk we do tend to get through a lot of milk so i've got three of the six pointers of green milk and then two of the four pointers i think they are yeah four pointers of blue milk that's for noah and for Ch uh, for zachary because they still like blue milk then at the back there i've got the cereals for the week so we've got choco hoops which will be for the weekend and then weetabix for during the week they have weetabix or they have porridge on a weekday morning then some ginger nuts just to top up the biscuit barrel because the kids just love biscuits and they're really into ginger nuts at the minute they've realized that they taste like gingerbread men so they absolutely love them 15 eggs because we get through a lot of eggs at the weekend with bacon and um, the boys like eggs for breakfast at the weekend as well then onto some fruit we've got easy peelers mini pears and some little apples and some mini bananas that's all just for the boys to snack on and to take to school then we've got two tubs of hot chocolate a big apple and blackcurrant i think i got yeah apple and blackcurrant i panicked then i thought it was summer fruits they won't drink that apple and blackcurrant um squash a strawberry jam and then a big tub of mince meat so i did show you the 
shortcrust pastry now if anybody watches rebecca lamb on youtube or on instagram on her insta stories she has got me into mince pies like nobody's business this early in the year i love a mince pie and noah loves a mince pie so we've decided to make some of our own this weekend i think noah will really enjoy doing that he loves to cook so we can blame rebecca lamb for that because I just keep eating them. I can't help myself. So then I've got some um, mild salsa. I've already got some tortilla chips in. So that'll be for with the burritos. My favourite comfort softness sort of stuff from um, like their version of the comfort. Strawberry and magnolia. I know comfort do a version of that and it smells exactly the same. Um, some Harry Bows just as little treats for the boys. These are what Zach calls biting lollies. They're just little chocolate lollies that he can bite, which I take one for him after every preschool session just as a little treat because he still he still struggles a little bit with going in. Um, so I give him these as a little treat to say well done for like sticking at it and doing well for the day. Crisps for time for work, which are just ready salted. Some ready salted hoops, which are just like hula hoops. Some cheese curls, which are just like quavers. Then I've got two loaves of bread, just plain white, medium sliced bread. Pretty boring, pretty average. Crumpets, they will be for breakfast or lunch at the weekend. And then did I get two packets or one packet of wraps? Just two, just the one packet? Yeah, one packet of wraps, so they'll do the burritos for myself and Tom and then also some lunches for the boys during this week as well and that is everything from the kind of cupboard bakery fresh produce area I'll pop all this away and then I'll be back in just a second to show you the frozen products that I got as well okay, so there's not that much frozen stuff this week there's just some florets of broccoli um, because I found recently when I've been, bu been buying fresh bro broccoli it goes over too quickly so I've been buying the frozen and it's just as good all the vitamins and everything are locked in there so I'm happy to get that for the kids some frozen peas we get through lots of peas it's one vegetable I can guarantee that they will eat uh, some fish fingers a cheese and tomato pizza and a pepperoni pizza that's their Friday night treat these are those Dauphin Wise potatoes. That's how you spell it. I think I spelt it wrong on my meal plan. They're with for with the gammon for myself and Tom. We'll have that with some peas or some runner beans that I've got in the freezer already. And then just a cauliflower cheese. Um, that'll be for with the roast dinner on Sunday. Um, I usually always used to make my own but i found that this one from aldi that comes in a bag ready you just chuck it, chuck it into the oven it's so tasty and it just cuts that time down that i'm in the kitchen on a sunday so i can be with the kids um but other than that that is everything that we got so i hope you enjoyed that haul this week's shopping came to 61 pound 87 pence so i actually bought the family food shopping in at under 62 pound which for me is pretty incredible like i say i know i'm using things that i've already got in the cupboards and stuff like that but generally speaking i try to make meals that i'll have either extra for next week so it'll create an extra meal for next week or meals like the chicken and the gammon so that i've got like a pie or something that i can use both of those meats for an extra meal so that's how i kind of help to spread it out but if you would really like to see any of the recipes that i do if you'd like to see any of my slow cooker recipes or if you'd like to see what we eat in a week <clears throat> excuse me so that you can see what these meals actually look like then do just leave me a comment in the comments box and make sure that you hit the thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't watched me before i would really love to have you here we're going to be doing loads more now going into christmas really really excited for some of the things we've got coming up and i really do love having you all here and building this little community on youtube it's brilliant and if you don't follow me over on instagram my instagram handle is just um the underscore clemson's if you have a look over there you'll see me every day story in and just little tips and tricks and hacks and things over there as well so thanks for joining me guys i look forward to seeing you on the next video take care bye bye